you for joining. So now that we have uh, Sir on the stage, it's now time that we move on to call our moderator for the session, the person who's going to bring the stories here for all of us. And for that, now I would like to call on stage Mr. Ashish Kanoria to please join us here, who's the director of Sri Balaji Industrial Prague Limited. Now he has also been the charter member of Thai Rajasthan and he is also a metallurgical and material engineer from IIT Rurki. So let's have a clap for him everybody and I'm definitely looking forward to this session. The mic. Hello everyone and I hope that you are having a good time at Thai Smash Up. Welcome to the second fireside chat event with Mr. Suraj. Already communicated, he is an IT Bombay alumnus and uh, co-founder of Delivery. If anybody, if you do not know what Delivery is, probably you're in the wrong room. <laughs> I still have a few bullet points. They do about 15 lakh deliveries every day. Uh, they serve more than 23,000 cities. Bear in mind, India only has 19,100 PIN codes. So they've gone beyond PIN codes and we'll talk a little more about that when you come to you, Suraj. They have a head count of 100,000. I mean, that 60,000 is a little bit uh, they have some 24 automotive sets, uh, sort centers, 94 gateways, 28 80 direct delivery centers, and operate a fleet of 14,000 vehicles. They have awards like ET Startup of the Year Award, Young Turk Startup of the Year Award, Mahindra Transport Excellence, the list is endless. It's English, but I'm going to So, thank you, thank you, Suraj, once again. Let me start from the start. IIT Bombay, how did that happen? Were you always studious? Yeah, mummy ne dhaka maar ke beja? Yeah, you were born in Kota. Tell us about your family background. How did it start? <laughs> so I, I, I was good at studies, of course. Uh, that that prompted you know my parents to sort of push me towards IIT. Uh, I'm from a family, farming family in Gangan River, a small town north of Rajasthan. Uh, went to boarding when I was very young, uh, at the age of seven. Um, I got fascinated with computers very early. So, you know, I wanted to become a software engineer. And back then, if you remember, same with the same time, right? Uh, Bangalore was coming up as soft, sort of the software capital, the tech capital of India. So, I thought that engineering is software engineer, but I Bangalore. Jana. Bangalore is going to go. I did not even know about IIT till my 10th. That is how sort of... Uh, unaware I was because I was in a boarding school. I was talking about the same thing. So, 11th, when I was looking for a school, I wanted to come out of the boarding school and say, you know, where should I go next? People recommended that they are going to IIT and they are going to be intelligent. I said, I'm not going to IIT, I'm not going to go to the Sarkari College. I'll go to a good college somewhere. So, that's the level of awareness at that point. But then, when I got into 11th year and I realized that this IIT is a very difficult thing to get into, man, everybody is struggling. Um, and it was sort of a shock for me because I came from a, a multicultural boarding school into a place in Faridabad. Uh, the culture was very different. Uh, out of boredom, I actually studied. Wow. So, I studied <laughs> So, if Bangalore is not going to be able to how did delivery come about? Can you tell us a little more about that? So, I got placed in ICICI Lumba General Insurance out of campus. Um, there was a feeling that the, the insurance sector was going to get deregulated. And so, ICICI recruited a couple of engineers across all IITs. Now, the deregulation was not done. We realized that we were going to get a book and we were going to get a fire car insurance. So, this is not really good. This is not really good. Quality work. So almost everybody left. Um, I went and joined a management consulting firm called Bain. Um, it's a global competitor of McKinsey. Um, McKinsey, BCG, and Bain, these are the three largest management consulting firms. Um, that is where I met the other two co founders. Uh, we were together at Bain uh, for five years. How many years was that? Uh, five years in total. Uh, out of those five years, I actually took six months off to work as a volunteer with the UIT when Aadhaar was kicking off. So that's actually the time when I got time to think about what next, because UID wasn't as hectic as consulting used to be. So there was some free time, the other co-founder was also on a break from Bain, uh, he was figuring out what next again. So both of us spent a bit of time and that's how we came about this idea. We actually started out as a food delivery company. Yeah, so e-commerce logistics came in much later. Um, 
Zomato founders Dipinder Pankaj also were with us at B. So I know them very well. So in one of the conversations, they said, "Hey, many when you list, करते हैं आप लोग, why don't you join us and set up logistics for us?" Um, so we thought about it and we said, "We will not join you, but we will set up logistics for food." So that's how we started. We realized that food, me, lunch, dinner, it was busy. Did you give them some uh, some shares for the royalty for the idea? No, no, no. I got. We helped them out when they were starting also. Um, so then, then uh, outside of lunch dinner, our guys were sitting idle. We had some ten bikers in Burgaon back then, 2011, and we were like, "Here, inko, right? To utilize them, why don't we start delivering some e-commerce shipments? Local e-commerce was just booming." Uh, and our third co-founder at that point was also about thinking about leaving Bain and Company. He was talking to a lot of these e-commerce companies. He wanted to join the startup. Everybody that he spoke to told him, "Here, logistics may come. Our team may solve logistics for us." And here we were experimenting, and we realized, "Here, this is actually a real problem. If e-commerce has to grow the way it is being bet on, logistics should." And so we shut down the food thing. He also joined. He came on board. Then two other founders came, uh, and that's how we started. Then there's no looking back. Just keep building for e-commerce. So tell us about your initial struggles at delivery. Uh, and your relationship with other co-founders. Shuru me ke ladai ho rahi thi. Didn't things work out in the beginning, or it was smooth sailing right from the beginning? It was smooth sailing in terms of personal relationships because the three of us who started were very very close friends. We were together. We've been together. We had been together for three years. Uh, two of us had actually been together for five years at Bay. Uh, so there was inherent trust. That we had. Um, so if any either of us came in and said that we have to do this, then the others simply agreed because we had basic trust. Tha. And I think that has proved to be very very valuable in our journey. Uh, having five founders, that means two people who are not together, and our five people have been together for 10 years, tak, which is when we were able to build this up. I think we were clear that all decisions have to be number based. That means you don't talk in the air. If you want to do something, please sort of do your analytics. Come out, tell us ये क्यों आप बोल रहे हो, and that's it. We will not question your calculation because we understand and agree that you are good at that. But we'll give you inputs and sort of give suggestions to modify this, make it better. But then it's yours. Go ahead and do it. So that's how we agreed to operate. Struggles तो यार बहुत सारी होती हैं. मतलब क्या नहीं होता? We logistics industry में startup start किया. This industry was always considered to be a the the worst kind of place to be in. IIT, IIT, करके logistics कर रहे हो, फिर लोगों को भी लेके आना है, tech बनाना है. Thankfully, हमारे personal networks helped us in the early days to bring the talent, the first few hires in. Today, delivery I think has dramatically changed how people perceive logistics. We get People from global business schools applying to us. We have IIM, IIM, there are a lot of people, IIM, IITs. People really want to come and solve the problem that we are solving. Right? It is making a very, very inefficient industry better using technology. Uh, so talent was the one of the earliest, biggest problems. And then funding, of course. What is the problem? If there is a problem every day, right? There is a new problem every day. The rest we know is history. So delivery, just for information of everyone, they had 11 rounds of funding. They have 13. They had 13 VCs on board. Market में बारह ही थे इन्होंने कहीं तेरह ढूंढा. And they got listed in today. They are sitting at a valuation of about five billion dollars. Billion with a B. Let's talk a little more about the model of delivery. So business gurus advocate focus, whereas we see that delivery is doing almost everything. Uh, personal couriers for individuals to catering to e-commerce companies to doing full truck load. What is the thought? So we started out as a parcel transportation company for e-commerce. Now, over time, see that's a market that was itself growing and we've been always either growing slightly faster or at the same rate as the market at the bare minimum. Uh, so we cannot sort of suddenly grow very, very fast in that segment. Right? Um, also over time we realized that the same customers we were working with wanted us to do other things. They said, yeah, warehousing kar do. Humne bola, Chalo, warehousing try kar lete hain. bola ki humare liye, uh, ye LTL, less than truckload ek term hoti hai industry ki. Ki less than truckload samana hai, isko timely bheer do. Humne ka, wo try kar lete hain. So a lot of our businesses actually came in from inputs that are 
the clients had. They wanted us to add some of these services. And then we realized that because now we have a whole lot of services, we can actually take away all of logistics from them. Right? Uh, earlier, transportation itself as a decision was a decision taken by the store manager or the warehouse manager. But today, logistics is a decision that is being made right at the top. Because you're thinking of logistics overall. We recently had the logistics policy that was launched last year. All of the focus there is to make logistics efficient. In India, we spend about 13% uh, of our GDP on logistics. In the developed world, it is at about 8 to 9%. So that's the amount of inefficiency we have today, right? Uh, I believe that because we are enabling an end-to-end -end solution here, we can bring down that cost drastically. If we know where the inventory is sitting, we know how to move it across different modes. We can do it far, far more efficiently. But how do you differentiate between yourself and something what, uh, you know, you're already doing it for Amazons and Flipkarts. So when you go to them, how do you pitch yourself as differentiators? Yeah, logistics so Flipkart, eCart, the Flipkart ka jo logistics arm has started before we had started. And they started because there was no See, I'll tell you the problem. When e in 2010, investment in e-commerce, people realized that India maybe e-commerce can become a big channel for shopping. We had a, what is called lack of trust in the market. No consumer wasn't ready to pay online and get a parcel delivered. They said, I will give you cash at my home, but I will not use my card. Now, cash as an element of logistics was never existed, existed at India. Right? So, none of the companies knew cash handle to was never existed in India. So, none of the companies knew cash handle to how to deposit it, how to deposit it, how to reconcile it. So, today, if I have delivered a shipment from ABC to you, how do I take that cash from you to ABC? So, because I'm delivering it from ABC, 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 because I'm delivering it from how, how do I create a system that, I, that tells me exactly kiska paisa aya hai, kisko jana hai. That's what we created. That's, that was the big gap. E-Cart ne isliye start kar diya tha kyun ki nahi kar pa raha tha koi. And once we started, we said, ab kyun kar raha? They said, abne itna wada bana diya network, paise dal diya, ab kya kare? Use to karenge. And over the years, now what, what has happened is, we are today the lowest cost logistics service provider because it's a scale business. Jitna zada volume hota hai, utna cost girta jata hai. So they can't compete. Today we don't even go and have this argument with them here, you versus us. We simply tell them here, these are our service levels. Aap hi kar rahe Hum usko saste mein kar rahe Why do you want to spend more? Right? So that's the kind of discussion that happens. But, but being a startup, what about the asset light model? Delivery is owning various uh, you know, uh, assets, like uh, which are in fact depreciable assets, like warehouse infrastructure, delivery vehicles like we spoke about. What about that? Yes, so won't you get more difficulties as you go forward when these infrastructure, uh, you know, starts to get old? No, I, see, in our, see, we were all consultants when we started, right? So we understood P&L, balance sheet, cash flows very, very well. These calculated decisions, I say, asset light is clear right now because even after you build in the depreciation into your accounting, you are still better off. Right. Um, warehouse, real estate mein nahi dalna hai because it's a different business. Running a real estate um, company is very different from running a logistics company. Jo assets we bought are that they don't do a lease-out. Sorter Systems is not a commodity product. Right? Sorter Systems is a customized product. So they don't do a lease-out. We have to buy it. Right? So we buy it. Uh, we own a few trucks because there are parts of the country where we don't get uh, credible partners. So we have to operate our own trucks. So we buy them, we operate them. So uh, what we can give to us, we will not buy it. We will always lease it out, take it on rent. Whatever we need because our business has a gap there, we will have to buy and we buy it. We will depreciate it, but as long as we are accounting for it and still gives us value for money, then it's not a bad decision. So the many startups in the audience, and I'm not sure how many of them are interested in into logistics and becoming a competitors, but probably we would want to know what is the future of logistics. Are we moving to bigger warehouses and the small warehouses will close? Are we moving to drone deliveries? Are we moving to automated warehouses? What do you see as the future, really future, future of logistics, maybe 10 years from now? So 
we are moving to larger warehouses, more efficient warehouses, more automated warehouses, more standardized warehouses, more standardized. These small ones close, or they will also have their space. Sorry. These small ones close, or they will also have. No, no, they will have their space. Uh, see, the overall economy is growing, right? So, I'll give you an example in our business that plays out everywhere. In Jaipur today, we have a facility that's probably 1.5 lakh square foot, right? Uh, which has a sorter system. In what other place should I say? Jodhpur, we'll have a facility that's probably 40,000 square foot, right? Now, as the business grows, the Jodhpur facility will become 1.5 lakh. So, the sorter system here will move there. So, economies of scale are taking up the existing businesses to become larger. The smaller wale use hote rahenge because unki demand bhi hai. But they keep moving. The, the largest cities will become very, very large. The next ones will become what they are today. The next ones will become another five years from now what the larger ones are today, right? So, wo bhi exist karenge. But standardization is very, very important if we have to reduce the cost. Ultimately, Sub warehouse ke docks ek hi height pe honi chahiye so that if my truck goes from my facility to a client facility, they are able to dock efficiently, unload load quickly because that's where you're saving time and money. Right? So it's more standardization, larger, more automation, more tech, more data, you know, sort of awareness about where your data is, where your shipments are. All of that. Great, I think we'll come out of the logistics space, otherwise the audience will kill me. So once you start a founders. It is imperative, you know, these questions come about the valuations that the startups are getting in spite of the fact that they're bleeding. Uh, has that phenomenon slowed down a little bit? Have the investors got a little more careful, even the entrepreneurs trying to change themselves to be profitable right from the beginning? Or is it still the same story or it depends on the model? No, it has changed. Uh, there is a lot more, people are a lot more sensitive towards profitability now. Um, it has changed because the global markets are nervous at the moment. Right? Uh, since this um, Russia-Ukraine started, um, and then China-US and Russia-US and all of that, uh, there's nervousness in global markets, which is what is leading to what we see today. Right? Um, it will remain cautious. What has happened though is that valuations have corrected a little bit. Um, I think we are now in a better position, more fundamental valuations are more fundamental driven. However, you will still have valuations that seem off because the company is still loss making, but those are not completely built out of thin air. They are so because these are businesses with very huge potential. So correct ho gayi, lekin valuations will be milling. As long as the business is viable, is right, you have the right team who is motivated, uh, people are willing to put money. So people are raising money, although it's less, far less euphoria than it used to be three years ago, five years ago. So many delivery founders have now exited. Does it change the perspective of how comfortable now you are working over there, given that you, all your friends are not there, you are more answerable to so many investors, you are a listed entity now. And my second part of the question is, how much does a founder lose interest in working when the, it's his own equity gets reduced to a very small scale uh, in, 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 in the process of growing? So, we, right from the beginning, were very clear here. Us as executive leaders versus us as owners are two separate things. And we operate like that. So today, when I go to work, I get a salary for that. Um, and so us at work is what two of the five founders decided to leave because it, it gets very tiring. Right? I mean, the, we started in 2011 continuously building oh, Tej Kapoor is here. <laughs> building out uh, oh, you know, that lot of hard work that you're doing, right? Oh, karte, karte, kar, thak jate, yaar. Oh, do log, they wanted to leave this from an executive position standpoint, they still continue to hold the stake. They invested. Invest in because as an investment opportunity, delivery still is a good place for them to continue to stay invested in, right? Founders ka stake here, I, I, I think, our philosophy was very clear that we have owning 100% of a $10 million company versus owning 2% of a $10 billion company are very, very different things and need to be understood that. 100% se kya lena lena hai? Ultimately, create wealth, create an organization that's valuable for all the shareholders. That was the philosophy. I don't think we lost interest 
क्योंकि हमारा शेयर कम है बिकॉज दैट शेयर इज स्टिल वैल्यूबल क्वेटर और आप थके भी नहीं है सो वॉट आर योर पर्सनल प्लान वेट यू सी यर सेल्फ इन नेक्स्ट फाइव टू टेन ईयर्स Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, I do definitely will want to work a lot more for the farmer community because that's where I come from. I mean, all my extended family is into farming even today. Right? So, um, f- food supply chain, something of that sort, jo, which uses what I've learned here at the same time tries to solve for what people have in terms of issues there. एग्जैक्टली क्या होगा वो नहीं पता अभी बिकॉज अभी तो स्टिल एक्टिवली इन्वॉल्व इन डिलीवरी आई डोंट हैव अ टाइम लाइन इन माइंड इज वेल एंड दैट्स यू नो दैट्स दी एडवांटेज यू गेट वेन यू बिकम सक्सेसफुल आई डोंट रियली नीड टू डिफाइन वेरी क्लियरली एट वट एवर पॉइंट आई फील कि मुझे कुछ करना है तो आई टेक अ कॉल दैन मेरी इंटरेस्ट इन पॉलिटिक्स एंड आई आस्ट दिस बिकॉज यू रिसेंटली अटेंडेड जाट महाकुम सभा ऐसी महाकुम सभा है मुझे नहीं लग रहा है कि बहुत ज़्यादा स्टार्टअप फाउंडर्स अटेंड कर रहे हैं यार लाइक आई सेड आई एम पैशनेट अबाउट वेर आई कम फ्रॉम राइट सो फार्मर्स आई एम पैशनेट अबाउट आई एम जाट फ्रॉम वेमे नगर सो आई आई फील फॉर द कम्यूनिटी आई वॉज हेयर एंड वो एक इवेंट हो रहा था आई वोट स्पोक फॉर इट एंड आई शुड आई नॉट बट दैट्स पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट इन पॉलिटिक्स दिस डेफिनेटली इंटरेस्ट इन पॉलिसी I do feel like there should be educated people helping out with how the country's policy gets shaped. Right. So whether that goes through politics or not through politics is something that only future can. So let's see. <laughs> so your your most prized possession. Possession. Not a possession guy, man. Like, not possession. 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 I know. That's what I'm saying. No, not not a materialistic guy. I mean, no, no price possession. Great. So, favorite holiday. Tej Kapoor wants to ask something. Is it? <laughs> favorite holiday destination. Ganga Nagar. यार इतना कम मटेरियल अरे नहीं मैं जब डिलीवरी स्टार्ट करी थी हमने पहले सात आठ साल में सिर्फ और सिर्फ साल में तीन चार दिन गंगानगर जाता था मतलब बिकॉज दैट यूज टू रियली सर्ट ऑफ कीप मी ग्राउंडेड कीप मी रियल कि यार हम यही से मतलब दिस इज वॉट वी आर राइट इवन टूडे आई टेक माई डॉटर आई है थ्री ईयर डो डॉटर आई विल मेक इट अ पॉइंट कि साल में दो तीन बार वो गंगानगर जाए मतलब ट्यूबवेल पे ना आए वो बैलगाड़ी पे घूमे दैट दीज आर थिंग्स दैट मैटर टू दिन फेवरेट बॉलीवुड एक्ट्रेस फेवरेट बॉलीवुड एक्ट्रेस अब ये बंद हो एक्ट्रेस आई यूज टू बी अ बिग माधुरी दीक्षित फैन ओके सो आर यू अ मॉर्निंग पर्सन और नाइट पर्सन हाउ इज योर डे टिपिकली आई एम अ मॉर्निंग पर्सन इवन वेन आई वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आई टी आई टू वेक अप एट फोर इन द मॉर्निंग इन स्टडी इवन टूडे आई वर्क मोर एफिशियंटली अर्ली आई यूज टू बी वन दर्ली गाइज टू गेट इन टू ऑफिस एंड अगेन दैट इज ऑल्सो एक्चुअली एक छोटी छोटी टैक्टिकल चीज़ें ना बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट होती हैं बिजनेस में साहिल एंड मी द टू ऑफ द फाइव फाउंडर्स वी वर वी आर सर ऑफ द अर्ली बर्ड्स एंड वी वुड गेट इन टू ऑफिस बिफोर दैन उसकी वजह से क्या होता था कि वो एक ऑफिस का माहौल सही बनता गया क्योंकि हम आ गए तो अब बॉस आ गया तो सब बच्चे सब आ जाएंगे ना नीचे वाले तो तो वो आई थिंक छोटी छोटी चीज़ें बहुत हेल्प करती हैं अभी इफ यू डोंट गो टू वर्क ऑन टाइम हाउ विल यू हाउ डू यू एक्सपेक्ट योर अर्ली टीम मेम्बर्स टू कम ऑन टाइम a business person that inspires you um nandan nilekhani is from the same institute i worked with him during my uid days uh, i think he's what they built is phenomenal right the first startup pretty much out of india a book you recommend to read to especially for young entrepreneurs yeah i am not a book, book person yeah movie movie bahut sari hai शॉशेंक रिडेम्शन बहुत अच्छी लगती है और फ्यू गुड मैन बहुत अच्छी लगती है हिंदी में हासिल बहुत सारी है मूवीज तो बहुत सारी द कार यू ड्राइव मर्सिडीज बियर और विस्की विस्की चलो चलते हैं ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सूरज फॉर स्पीकिंग टू मी इट्स एन ऑनर थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग अप ऑल द वे टू जयपुर एंड इज दिस नाइस माइस इवेंट Uh, we'll open the house for audience questions. Maybe you can do a better job than me. <laughs> I see hands. Can we have some mics there? Yeah. 
Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, this is Anurag. Anurag Bhatnagar from SI Startup Prabhu Battery Corporation Private Limited. I want to ask a question I am having in my mind. When you have nothing in your pocket and you are working as a start as a startup, uh, as an industrial management norms, these these two questions are for both of you. Uh, we need M5, that is man, man, machine, money, mind, material. If you don't have money, so how you create the money? Here, so that's the question? Yeah, that's You can sit and answer that. Um, Yet money na bhoat sare loog ke paas hai. Jo wait kar rahe hai, koi achhi opportunity mile invest karne ke liye, right? If you have a good, solidly drawn out business plan, you will find people willing to invest money. No, I have the plan. I have a big plan. But is it solidly built out? To yeah, 100% solid built out. Aray bhai, aray Anurag, relax. Startup pitch ka data. Aapko lag raha hai solidly built out hai. Jis din kisi investor ko samaj mein aajega, wo paisa de dega na? That is the point. So, there is no sure shot way ki ye kar doge to mil jayega. But at the same time, tum kisi se paisa le rahe ho, they should be convinced that what you are building is going to be valuable. Ultimately, if someone is giving 10 rupees, then he should give 15 rupees. Yes, absolutely. So, you convince them that why don't you have money? There is money. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There is no money. There is no pressure to take money. It's the easiest part. Normally, the game of investors is the game of investors. Like I've been doing with investors in the last two or three months. So, I know that I don't want to take money like that. It's very typical to take money like that. It's very typical to take money. But the money that I get and my growth, where will it get? Where will it get? Which money? The money is the money. No, 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 sir. One money is the money that you have to repay with the profits. You don't have to repay with the profits. You don't have to give ownership in the company. When you raise money, you make them more equity. Equity, equity money, obviously. But the capital of the start-up is small. So, the heavy capital will get the heavy capital? Yes, sir. The start-up is the heavy capital. What is the question? I am not getting a question. Small amount of money friends and family will get from unorganized. So, 10-20,000,000,000. It is more than that. There is more than that. There is institutional money. There are institutions that do this work. They invest in money. But they take equity. They take it in that company. They have confidence in which they have. It is not that they have gone to them. They have to give them a mandate. You have to convince them that what you are doing is going to become valuable. Why will they not put money if they are convinced? They are doing their money. Their job is to invest money. That is their job. So if they find something interesting, they will invest money. I think we'll take it further offline. Shino has a question again, or somebody else. Hello. Yeah, so it's a great conversation. Ajay sir gave a very nice presentation as well. So to you and to Ajay sir maybe, the question is like whenever we go out in the market and one of the things that he said that you need to see the opportunity where are the chances of basically improvement on the process or the service or products that we have. Now there is no definitive deadline, right? I mean, there's no ceiling that you can ever touch, right? So for example, student loans or what you did in the transport sector, uh, how how can one uh, out of all these entrepreneurs identify there is uh, there is this great opportunity? I mean, the ceiling is not hit yet, uh, and where there is a lot of boundaries uh, that you can cross. Basically, that is something that I would love to know. So I think see the idea, idea, idea. Look, मेरे बहुत सुनते हैं यारी मैं पहले since we started तब से लोग बोलते हैं idea अच्छा पकड़ना चाहिए, idea अच्छा होना चाहिए, idea क्या है? Logistics कर रहे हैं. क्या आइडिया अच्छा है सालों से चलती आ रही इंडस्ट्री सदियों से मतलब लॉजिस्टिक्स स्टार्टेड विन सिविलाइजेशन स्टार्टेड तो कोई नया आइडिया तो नहीं था ना यू हैव टू डू इट बेटर देन इट यूज्ड टू बी राइट व्हाट एवर यू डू तो स्टार्ट कुछ स्टार्ट करना है गैप ढूंढो सी वेयर द रियल गैप उसके Stay aware, keep your eyes and ears open, you will come across an idea that yeah, this, there is a gap, this problem is, yeah, somebody needs to build a business out of this. And that could be you. That's how you should think about businesses. Uh, good morning, sir. My name is Gaurav. Basically, uh, I'm a student. 
So uh, I am starting in e-commerce. Uh, basically, uh, like my startup is all about uh, we are uh, digitalizing pan India local sellers. So uh, we are we are having a challenge that uh, while uh, we are coming to Jaipur. So uh, like as in a bootstrap, we are starting from a bootstrap with our own money. So the first question is that we have this problem that we are delivery partners or that we are starting our delivery delivery system start kare, uh, with on the basis of two or three vehicles uh, by hiring some of people. And the second thing is like we are uh, digitalizing local sellers. So uh, we are more focusing on the customer experience so that they can, good, uh, they can get a premium quality products. And uh, it will be basically on the nearby basis. Like uh, for an example, a seller will be in the nearby 25 km radius mein shop ko, uh, show kar sakta hai, ke customers ko, and they will be able to get the products from the particular shops. So uh, like you are at home and you know that uh, I, I just buy my product from this seller, this seller and you, will, you just have to search uh, the particular name of the shop and you will get the all the products and you will be able to uh, buy and uh, you can take the delivery from home home. So in that scenario, there is a journal delivery system, you better know about that. And uh, I can't go for the delivery, I can't go with the e-card because they deliver for the interstate. Let's, let's, come, to the, let's come to the question. Yeah. So the question is, should I go for the delivery system, like as uh, you guys have, uh, like an e-card delivery system? And should I go for the, uh, for initial stage, should I hire some people and some vehicles to deliver in a particular city? So, what you're trying to do has been tried by many, 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 many startups that I've seen in the past. It's a very, it's a problem that, why do you want to solve? Aaj mujhe as a consumer kuch chahiye. Yeah. To kisi bhi shop se aajai mujhe kya farak pad raha hai? And that option I get on the hyper-local startups, na? Okay. Malab, Swiggy has a naam, jo mere ko groceries or kuch bhi samaan le sakta hai. Then there is, uh, high, the blanket hai, somato ke saath, jo same cheese kar sakta hai. Ab wo nearest store se de raha hai, wo mujhe kahi aur se de raha hai as a consumer, mujhe kya farak pad raha hai? Why are you trying to solve this problem? Sir, I figure out that the uh, entire population in India, sir, 20% log hi hai, jo online shopping kar raha hai. To tum bhi to unko app hi doge na, ja ke. To wo agar tumhari app use kar sakte, to wo dousri bhi kar lege. Sir, there are other features including in particular app, like uh, without visiting that shop, you can uh, access all kind of products in that shop. And you just have, you can compare prices as well with the other shops. Uh, let, let's take this offline. We, I am not trying yes. to dissuade you from your business idea, yes. but I am telling you it is, it is not, I don't feel like it is a problem worth solving, especially because it is. Suraj, hi, Ajit, this side uh, from Agro Money. Uh, since you are also from a farming background, uh, do you have any reason, you know, uh, by which, uh, you know, uh, the wastage can be reduced since, uh, you know, uh, there is approximately 40% wastage in uh, fresh produce? So for the supply chain, uh, or post-harvest management, do you have any reason and is there any specific reason why we don't have even a single uh, unicorn uh, from agri-tech space and uh, you know people are reluctant uh, to invest in uh, agriculture sector? So, great. Um, vision, I don't have a plan but I agree that waste is not going There are companies that are now trying to solve this. Um, there is a company called Super Plum, which is doing this for fruits, trying to create alternate supply chain. Ki wo pura mandi system ke through na hai, jahan pe wo kharab ho jate hai, directly source ho ke kisi tarah paan jaye. Uh, so there are startups that are experimenting. The reason they we don't have large companies in this space is because ye bahut unorganized hai. Farm holdings humare yaan bahut choti hoti hai India mein. To koi bhi farmer aapko apne aap mein koi bada scale nahi de pata hai. Uh, these things work better in developed countries because there a single farmer owns very large swaths of land, right? So when they're able to give you scale. Um, however, having said that, there are, let me assure you, there are many, many startups trying to solve these problems. Some of them have achieved some sort of scale at different, different parts of the country. Yes, solve honi karni hi pade. Food security is going to be one of the biggest challenges uh, that we will face as a country. So, we have to solve it. It's going to take time. People are working on it. I don't have an idea right now. If I had one, I would have started working on it. Like I said, I, I, I want to do something that I would have started working on it. Like I said, I want to do something, but at some point. Right? I'm still engaged here and I'm sort of 
happy liking it. So, so, so I think Suraj will be with us for some, okay, one more question, one last question. You want to make a question? Ah, do my pitch. I think you've had your question, those are pitch all over the world. Hello. Sir, will my job be done? One last question, which is a lot of attendance. Sir, my name is Manoj. A simple question, sir. In the start-up journey, there are two questions that are common. Do you have to pay attention to business or funding? Do you have to pay attention to business? Do you have to pay attention to business? If you have to pay attention to business, then how do you pay attention to business? Then how do you pay attention to business? Oh, man. I mean, how do you pay attention to business? Do you have to pay attention to business? फंडिंग तो जितना फंडिंग के लिए ध्यान देना है जरूरत है उतना तो देना ही पड़ेगा पर ध्यान तो बिजनेस पे दोगे ना अल्टीमेटली तो बिजनेस बिल्ड कर रहे हो फंडिंग थोड़ी बिल्ड कर रहे हो सूरज इस विदास एंड वी टेक सम क्वेश्चन आपको मुझे चरा याद है पर बाद में मिलते हैं दोस्त वंस अगेन सूरज थैंक यू सो मच